Hello. Um, I'm going for it tonight. I'm doing two in a go. <laughs> Gonna go for a new little combat challenge. I've done ones in the past where it, it's circuit training. This is similar kind of thing. It is circuit training, but we're going to keep adding on. So you learn a move, you add a move on, 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 you add a move on. We've got three sets, right hand side, left hand side, something new just to finish you off. Hopefully it'll all work. I've got my little timer going, so it should ding and dong and tell us when to swap over so I don't have to remember to count. I'm not going to tell you how long each set is. We're just going to go for it. So let's get going. Just allow yourself to shake off, loosen it off, find yourself a little bit of space. Let me turn it up so you'll actually be able to hear the ding, ding, ding. Okay, so we start. It's a jab. It's a right arm. And just jab. You can go slow. You can go fast. I don't mind. You choose your own speed. Just a little push. Push. So think, first of all, just about lengthening the arm, push it off the back foot, and then if you can, add a snap, snap. Aiming for nose lip or chin, push it in front, loosen into that shoulder. So that's move one. Not long left. See, this first one's going to seem like forever, but then when you add on, you get less and less time for each move. So from move one, which is just your jab, we're going to take it into a jab cross. Jab cross. Now you can have a little pause or you can go just jab cross. Just keep going. You can do it slow and think about that twist through the body. Release that back heel. Let yourself move through with the hip. So feel free to go a little bit slower. Then start to speed it up. Then see if you can snap, 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 snap. Power it in front, lengthen it out, not just out, but bring it back in as well. Snap, snap, snap. So now we're really starting to move at the shoulder, engage at the core, and we're starting to warm up as well. So we're gonna add a move on. We're gonna go one, two, hook. One, two, hook. Right, left, hook, go. Right, left, hook. So when you hook, release the front heel. I don't know if you can see that really well. Release it. So allow yourself to move all the way through the body. The move comes from the heel, through the knee, into the hip, round into the shoulder, and then you get that hook. So we got that hip, hip, hook. One, two, three. Maybe you could go one, two, three. One, two, three. Or maybe you want to stay with that nice, even pace. Yeah. Maybe you want to go for a one, two. We're going to ride on. We've got a kick coming. One, two, three, step, roundhouse. What's a roundhouse? Step your back leg in, lift the front knee, and then flick. Your heel is towards your bum. As you then lengthen out and flick around, aiming around the side of your opponent. So it's the shoelace or the shin. It's kicking them. Heel back to your bum after. So turn the body, open through the hip, and allow yourself to extend that leg. Lean your body back. So as you lean away, you kick in. One, two, three, kick in. We're gonna add on. I can't remember what I'm adding. Oh yeah. One, two, we kick, and you claw. Jab, cross, hook, kick it, reset, claw. One, two, three, kick it, set, claw. What's a claw? You sharpen your nails. You reach up and you slice down. One, two, three, kick it, claw. So give yourself a little bit of time to reset, then reach it up and claw. Kick it, claw. See, now we don't have much time in between each little bit of a combo. Kick it, claw. Let's add on the kick it, claw, knee. One, two, three. Kick it, claw, knee. What am I doing? One, two, three. Kick it, claw, knee. 
kick it. I'm not very good. <laughs> keep going, keep going. <laughs> Let me put it closer so I can actually see what I'm doing. One, two, three. Kick it. Claw. Knee. Could you make that knee? <sighs> yeah. A jump knee. One, two, three. Kick it. Claw. Yeah. We got to run on. Kick it. Claw. Knee. Step. Kick. It's a side kick. One, two, three. Roundhouse to the front. Claw. Knee. Set. Kick. One, two, three. Roundhouse. Claw. Knee. Step out. And see if you can get that kick. Evasive side kick. Yeah. Knee. Step. Kick. Who wants a jump? One, two, three. Kick it. Claw. Knee. Step. Kick. You don't have to jump if you don't want to. We've got one more bit to add. I forgot the roundhouse. Knee. Kick. And then. Go, go, go. One, two, three. Kick it. Claw. Knee. Step. Kick. Two, three, four, one, two, three, roundhouse, claw, knee, evasive side kick, and the scissor, go, kick it, claw, knee, yeah. little scissor, go, one, two, three, roundhouse, claw, knee, evasive side kick, scissor, <sighs> Time up, little rest, breathe, <sighs> loosen it all out. So we're gonna go all on the other side. Can you remember it on this side? I'm gonna move over along your basic side kick that way. Start easy. Breathe, left arm, jab. So make sure that you just kind of get yourself into a triangle with your feet. So you step one forward but still apart. Then you reach in. Oh, I can breathe a little now. Twist at the hip. Now, it's not really that. You're pushing off the back foot to get the power into the arm. That jab, 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 jab. Do you want to try it fast on this arm? Or do you want to keep with that? Add in, add in. Lengthen and pull back. So where do we go? The jab cross. And when you go for your jab cross, you've got to think about moving the shoulders. Now, if you anchor yourself to the ground, it's not easy to move the shoulders. Release the back heel, let the knees soften, and allow yourself to move. So you get that twist through the body. Now, it's not there. Elbows in. Draw it back in to that guard position. Boxers are all about protecting the body and the face. Snap, 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 snap. Do you want to try a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Get that heart rate back up again. Get yourself working on this side. We go one, two, hook. One, two, hook. Release that front heel. So on your hook, you kind of move your body weight back a little allowing you then to release the whole of the front body. You've got a right angle there. You keep it and you power it round. It isn't up and in, but don't end up coming at the front there. Make sure you get your elbow up. One, two, in. But don't leave it there, pull it straight back. One, two, hit. One, two, hit. Feel the power from the floor. Hit. Don't forget the cross. You're not there. Make sure you one, two, yeah. One, two, yeah. One, two, three, step, roundhouse, kick. So go slow if you prefer. Really concentrate every move. You can kick down low. Sink out in. To get your balance, maybe it's all about getting your balance for the minute. Set your back heel, turn it to start to face the front. Then you can lean 
hips facing to the side as you flick. One, two, three, flick it. One, two, three, flick it. One, two, three. Got the power. Adding on the claw. Yeah. One, two, three. Kick it, claw. So yeah, you got the hang of the claw. Maybe you don't go for that little pause. As you rotate your body back through, you slice it down. So it comes down. I don't know if you can see that one off screen. Up and down. So you're scratching all the way through their face and into their body. Big move. Power. So don't just go, ah. you've got to hurt them. You've got to hurt them. Scratch. Whip it through. Yeah. Add on. Knee. One, two, three. Kick it. Yeah. Knee. So don't leave the arm down there. Kick it. Claw. Draw your body back up tall. Are you going straight for the jump knee? Are you power knee? Yeah. Kick it. Yeah. Where am I going? <laughs> Kick it, yeah, yeah. One, two, three. Kick it, yeah, yeah. Kick it, yeah. Me. I'm starting to think about what's coming next. Kick it, claw, knee. Kick it. The idea is that you keep going, you just don't remember. You just do it. When we are done, your step, kick. One, two, three, kick it, knee, step, kick. One, two, three, kick it, knee, now claw, knee, kick. <laughs> You're probably doing it right. It's me that's doing it wrong. One, two, three, kick it, claw, knee, step, kick. One, two, three, round half, claw, yeah. Yeah, make it. I keep changing which leg I do, my knee on dancer. We are on the last bit, the last bit. It's kind of the breather. Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, four. Kick it, claw, knee, whatever. Go, do whatever speed you need. I've lost it now. One, two, three, round out, claw, knee, kick, and four, three, two, one. I keep panicking, I'm going to be on the wrong leg and I end up not doing a proper scissor. Where are you? Keep going, keep going. Jump, grab, hug. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm brave. Whatever you do, it doesn't really matter. Just keep working, keep moving. We've evened ourselves out. So forget them. We got a new bit. Capoeira. For anyone that remembers this from a release, you'll know it. We go slow. We come fairly low to the ground. Hick, kick. So you bring your knee up. Inside edge of your foot. Pushes down and into their ankle or shin. That's where you're aiming. So soft at the knee, as far across as you feel comfortable. Let your body sway. Kick, kick. Really gets the inner thigh working this one. Kick, kick. So we're gonna do a move for 45 seconds. We're gonna get logged into the brain. Me down up, down up. Change the move. Shinya. Keep the feet apart. Notice how you can always see a gap between my feet. You're creating a triangle. Two points at the front and a point in the middle at the back. So a little tap behind. You can keep your body weight on both feet as you tap back. Or you can be able to transfer. Start to twist. Get lower. Come right down into your knees, right down into the thighs. Engage the core so you're not there, you're up. Jinga, capoeira, 
part game, part fun, part martial art. We're going to put two together. So we're going to kick. We do a kick and two jing, yeah. Two kicks, yeah. Two jing, yeah. Step, kick, kick. Notice how I'm now staying quite low to the ground. My legs are fairly wide. This puts all the pressure there and starts to work big muscles in the body, helping you to tone, helping you to work more muscle groups at once. So you start to get the heart rate up further. Starts to burn more calories. Yeah. Tighten the abs. Don't let the pressure go into your back. Yeah. Pull that belly button in. We got one more move. I'm going to do two jingas. We got a lunge skiva. So lunge back, put the weight onto that foot, come in, step, lunge onto your toe, then turn, put the heel down, toe comes up, stay low to the ground. I'm going to go back a little. So you step into a squat, step back. To the toe, turn. To the toe, turn. Then start to reach your hand towards your little toe. Stay low. A lot of capoeira is all about staying low to the ground. One more each side. And this is an esquiva, which means escape. So two kicks, we got a kick, two shingas, two lunge esquivas. Get out of the way, off the side. Two kicks, so attack them. <laughs> Play with them. Then escape. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. Kick them. <laughs> Jinga. Esquiva. Get out of the way. Kick them. <laughs> Play. Dodge, weave. Get out of the way. Well done. Give yourself just a little loose and ease out through the upper body. So I hope you enjoyed it. Something a little bit different combat wise. Hopefully not too much longer before the gym's open. For anyone who does find these helpful, please let me know when gyms reopen if you struggle to get to the gym if they don't open as often as you want them to, I don't know how it's going to work. Then if I do have the time, I'll see if I can keep putting them on so you can do it as extra little workouts. It's going to ding ding again, <laughs> but ignore it. Step one foot forward, stretch it out. Ease into the back of that leg. You can't really see what I'm doing, can you? Change to the other foot to so push your bum up into the air. So you tip at the hip. That brings you a bigger stretch into the back of the leg. Soften that other leg and allow it to lengthen away. Bring it up, get your balance. Feel free to grab hold of a wall if you need to. Look, I can pretend I'm holding the wall. <laughs> it's not actually there. It's just a bit behind me, but it looks like I'm holding it. Knees close, push the hip forward, lengthen through the body and get that nice stretch into the front of the leg. Change to the other side. Knees together, lift, push. Lengthen. If you want, reach up high and really feel that nice lengthen. So hopefully the heart rate's coming down a little. Mine's still fairly high at the minute, but coming down a bit. Take your legs wide in a five stretch. One thing I do remember from the release where I took that capoeira from It's the first time I taught it. I woke up the next morning and couldn't work out when my inner thigh hurt. And when I taught it the second time, I realized it's those kicks, that inner thigh. 
The harder you go with your kick, the harder you work it. Shake it all out. If you can balance or if you want to bring yourself down to sitting, we can go for a little out of thigh stretch. If you want to come right down onto the floor and go for a head of stretch, feel free to do so. Make sure you do both sides. It's still thinking away to itself. I'm sure I set it up to a finish by now. Did I miss something out? <sighs> Is it? Stretch anything else you need to stretch. Hope you enjoy. As always, comment, like, mention anything you like on my Facebook page. It's Kivitan Pilates and Fitness on Facebook. And I'll see you again soon. I'm tired now. I want to shower. <laughs> see you later. Bye.